when you're talking about history, you, I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt. You got to think about that. I guess there was this Roman Empire. And it's funny, you know, let me, let me break something down for you guys. We're going to talk about fucking professional wrestling. How do you like that, Jed? So anyways, we're going to talk about how The Undertaker, okay, is a guy, all right, a huge guy. He wears all black. He's supposed to He's supposed to be the, mm, the graveyard fucking grave digger, fucking scary death, and they call him the dead man, and he's The Undertaker, and he represents fucking death. And um, every year at WrestleMania, you got to understand, WrestleMania is always in the very beginning of April. It's essentially a fertility uh, sorcery ritual, and the guy who owns the WWE Vince openly ridicules and mocks Christianity and uh, basically is a uh, very, very pagan and his shows. Okay. There's a Monday night show called raw. Okay. Raw, like the sun God raw, but it's spelled R a W like raw chicken, but it's red and it's called raw and it's red. He has SmackDown and it's a blue show. So he has this red and blue polarity every single week, you know, and then at the end of the year, well, it's at the end of the wrestling season, you get WrestleMania, but it, the wrestling year ends in April. So basically, he's celebrating a pagan new year with his mania of sports. And here's the thing. There's a guy named The Undertaker, okay? The Undertaker has now had 25 matches in a row at WrestleMania. I think he's the, the one professional wrestler in history who has appeared in the most WrestleMania matches overall. And not only that, he went 21 years undefeated right out of the gate. So he went 21 and 0. And then when uh, WrestleMania 30 came around, he was going up against a guy named Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar is known as, in wrestling, as the Beast Incarnate. Okay? And we're at WrestleMania 30. Okay? So it's a 10 and it's a ritual thing. So Undertaker, the dead man, Death faces off against the Beast Incarnate, okay? And the Beast defeats Death. And it's the first time Death loses at WrestleMania, the Spring Festival of Rebirth for the pagan psychopath Vince McMahon and his uh, pagan ritualistic uh, psychosis. And the fact, you know, he murdered Chris Benoit. Everybody knows that now. And a whole bunch of, he murdered the Ultimate Warrior, a lot of people say. And um, those are, of course, speculation, but it's pretty much well known. Um, he does this thing, and uh, the Beast is the first one that can ever conquer death. So we know how he feels. He feels like the Beast incarnate, Satan, the Antichrist, I guess, is the only one who can defy death. That's what Vince McMahon says at WrestleMania 30 by breaking the Undertaker's 21 year, 21 years of being undefeated at the Super Bowl of wrestling, essentially, or the World Cup of wrestling, essentially. And then couple years pass, he's 21 and 1, he goes to 22 and 1, he goes to 23 and 1, and then at WrestleMania 33, okay, 33, in Orlando, in Orange County, okay, the same place that the Pulse hoax shooting happened and the Christina Grimmie uh, hoax murder happened, okay, it comes to Orlando in Orange County, and they have WrestleMania 33, and guess what, now, The Undertaker faces a guy named, you're not going to believe it, Roman Reigns, R-E-I-G-N-S, like the king reigns over his kingdom. Roman Reigns, okay? And guess what? Roman Reigns is the second guy in history that now defeats death. Isn't that funny? So only the beast incarnate Satan or the Roman Empire can defeat death. That's what Vince McMahon wants to tell you. And now death has retired, essentially, I think. A lot of people think that after his 25 years now, because now he's 23 and 2. And it's 25 years of competing at WrestleMania. His first loss was at 30. His second loss was at 33. It's a lot of uh, number magic and a lot of um, uh, spring fertility magic too. And Vince defiantly wants to celebrate death. And maybe death, maybe death is a holiday. Maybe death is a holiday for his satanic uh, sect or his fucked up weird pagan sect that he belongs to. And check it out. Also, <laughs> at WrestleMania 30, the whole show... The star of the show, not Undertaker. Undertaker is the inherent star of every WrestleMania for the last 25 years because he's death. And he's often in the actual main event, the actual last match of the night, even if the championship's not on the line. They'll have the championship match before. They'll have his second to last, and then they'll have the Undertaker in his match just because he's the fucking Undertaker because Vince wants to put over death. Death is his fucking... That's what he worships. So that's what he's putting over every year. Um, 
at number 30, the main star of the show, he got to be in two matches. He was in the first match, and the stipulation was if he won that match, then at the very last match, the main event of the show, he was allowed to participate in it, and it was going to be for the championship. So, of course, he wins the first match, and then he's in the end, the end of the show, and then he wins that match too, and it's all about him. And it's funny because all of a sudden, this guy named Daniel Bryan, they made him um, grow out a huge beard, and they kept saying that he looked like a goat with the beard and everything. And it was very pan, you know? It was very Satan, very pan, and very uh, Baphomet, if you will. And the guy's name in real life was Brian Danielson. So Vince did a flip-flop and called him Daniel Bryan because his name was Brian Danielson. So he's like, oh, in the WWE, your name is Daniel Bryan. And then he has him with the goat thing, and he's always, always, always pretty much wearing red. And it's Baphomet, it's Pan, and the star of the show at number 30. The first time, the first time that death was defeated, he's defeated by the beast incarnate Satan. And the star of the show is the Antichrist, the GOAT. That's what WrestleMania 30 is all about. And then at WrestleMania 33, of course, you know, the Roman Empire defeats death for death's second and final loss and shit, basically.